Welcome back guys and gals, all great once again. Just thought I'd give you a quick insight into the researchers that I used to get some of the, uh, the armour. I can't remember which expansion it is but you'll find that you go to Freeport and the Semi Kinos I believe that you can get, there's three researchers that you can get. I have the, the lady one here. Show me the state of the research, and this is the all the research you can do at 95 right the way down to level 10. Uh, currently researching uh, level 61, I think, remember rightly. So what you need to do every day is to come here, increase the experience a little bit for her there. And anything I can do to help speed up the research, and you say obviously yes, let me know what you need made. And there we go. Need to craft a sturdy metopy basket for the apprentice. So back to the guild hall. into the crafting area I'm going to need four ethereal sandpapers for this uh, basket up to the woodworking bench there it is and did I just buy the wrong ones there? I think I did aren't I a retard? Yes, I bought real. I missed them completely. One, two, three, four. There we go. And create. Now, since I've already done all four of these, I really only need to do one bar of this, so it makes it nice and easy. And stop. There we go. Take this basket back to my apprentice. But before I do that, one thing I have to do as well take the materials off my gathering goblin. I think we're doing level 60 stuff here. Yeah. And send him back out again. There we go. That's another job for the day done. So now we take this back to the Apprentice. Portal to the housing. There we go. And I apologise for the state of this house. <laughs> this particular tune, Takil. I don't use it at all for anything apart from doing this. I return with you and your equipment. Pouch of unused materials. And there we go. And see there the legendary? That is the uh, level 95 stuff that you can make with this. And a reactant. And while I think on, I will just show you in Freeport where you get these from. I can't help you with Kinos. I don't have any good tunes whatsoever. So we need to run to the bell. Freeport. Oh God. Not been here for a long time since they've done the revamp, so getting there. Uh, AA points for it, very nice. Told you to use it for anything else. 
That means I can also pick up the AA from here as well. I might as well do that. No, I've already done that one. There's that one. There's a loyalty point for the day. Two points. Okay. Oh, lost the plaza. I've done that. And here, here are the three apprentices it can get. I've currently got the female elf or human, whatever it is. So those are the other two you can get. Okay, I will now log on to Erk and just show you the breastplate. This is particularly for Robert. He wanted to know uh, what armor Erg was wearing, so I'll be right back. Oh, welcome back. Looks like Erg's upgrade's ready, so I'll claim that one. Let's start another one. Sentry watch, we we'll need that. Start researching. And there's his apprentice. Oh, luckily for us, he's finished one. Show me this data. Research. Complete. Claim. So the toxic board distortion is now in there. So we need to show him something else now. Oh, we need to pick something first. Mm. He's going to need something for a level 60 so move up to that. Look at that one. Nine days you see to, to uh, research this. Increase the experience there. It should be the same thing the a Lichen over Lichen Clover root basket he needs. So back to the guild hall. we got from the researcher. Toxic board distortion. Toxic. No it needs. Aberrant reactant. I bet this is going to cost a fortune and it hasn't got it on it. Well, just to give you a clue. Before I switch tunes, that is the breastplate that is a fabled master crafted. And there you can see the stats on it level 50. So well worth researching and doing. I'll back in a few minutes. I've got the money for the uh, bowl. Right. 
He has now got the money and he's now picked up the reactant, so... Uh, was it toxic? Yeah. Toxic ball of distortion. Here we go. I've seen people crafting on um, YouTube videos for EQ. I started crafting way back when it first came out, two weeks after I started playing EQ2. And I've always done every tick, either one, two, or four, five. Four or five is for progression, one, two is for durability. No, dead easy. Right, let's have a look. And the only time I actually use the um, the third, three and six, is when it tells me to. That way I don't use hardly any mana. Right, let's have a look at that. Level 50. All scouts in a channel. Not bad stats on that, are they? Oh, nice, nice. Should I put that in the bank for one of my tunes. And the last thing to do is go and turn in the uh, the basket to the apprentice to give a little more experience. And his apartment is quite a mess as well, works. The only two nice ones I do have are on uh, the bruiser and my necromancer. They're, they've both got big rooms. These are just the basic rooms that you get when you start EQ. There's the, the sales board and the display case and the expanded one. And there we go. We've got a turn in there. Have a AA point. Always nice. But you don't get reacting. And that's mainly because Erg isn't level 95. He's only level 72, I think. Crafter. And once again, for Robert, there's my armor, Cobalt. The breastplate is the <coughs> breastplate is dynamism. All the rest of the stuff is master crafted. Oh, apart from that, sorry. That's another one of the master crafted fables. Good stuff. Alright folks, this is all Grey signing off again. Bye bye. Uh, just a quick update. Um, wanted to show these to Robert as well. The um, these are level ten Mastercrafty Fable. Well, it's level twenty, and that's level ten. Just to give you an idea of some of the gear that these uh, apprentices can give you. And I believe you can get the apprentices from level 10 trade skill. Okay, mate, I'll do it. All great, off.